Hey gamers, what's up? Okay, so in video 131, I announced my most recent contest, and this is the announcement video for the winners of that contest. Sorry it took so long to do this. Uh, I've run into a few snags, and on top of that, I've been packing up to move. As you can see, I've got all this packed up, and there's a lot happening here. So with that and the combination of one of my judges kind of falling through, it's just been a little difficult to get this video shot and posted. So accept my apology on that one. But this is it. Um, what I've done is myself and Charlie from Strictly Sega have judged all the videos. Now, if you don't know Strictly Sega, I'm going to give them a plug right now. I'm going to post a link up here that you can check out and go see their channel. If you haven't already subscribed, if you're a Sega fan and you haven't, you've done yourself a great injustice. So make sure you do that. Uh, give them as much support as you give me because they're really good guys. Um, so Charlie and I judged. If you, if you remember, Charlie won my last contest, so I thought he would be the perfect person to help me judge for this contest. And the way we did it is this. Went through all the videos, right? And picked our top 10 favorite videos. Okay? This is the personal aspect of the, of the judging. You know, we got to go through, see which ones we liked, see which ones we thought were funny or creative or innovative, and pick our top 10 favorites. We then rated each one of those videos on a scale from 1 to 100. 1 being poor, 100 being amazing. So, we then compared the two lists, the list that he made and the list that I made. Going through that list, I took all the videos that both of us picked and put them in what we'll call a semi-final round. All the videos that either he picked and I didn't pick or I picked and he didn't pick were cut. We were left then with six videos. Of those six videos, we took the scores that each of us gave them, a maximum of 200, and put them in order. The top three were the winners. Um, I thought it was a good way of judging because it gave us an opportunity to pick favorites, to pick which ones we liked, and be personal, you know, have some personal involvement with choosing videos. But then it, it's also a little scientific in that um, we put, we put some structure to it and used that to help us choose what the best videos were. And I think it was fair. So all that said, I'm going to go through some of these and I'm going to tell you about the videos that Charlie picked that I didn't pick and that I picked that Charlie didn't pick. Okay? And then I'll tell you about all the videos that both of us picked. In total, it's 20 videos. Uh, I'll start with Charlie's. Um, the videos he chose that I didn't choose were done by Metroid 0070, which that one was a good video. Um, he did kind of a PowerPoint presentation, and it was well done, and I liked it. And it was kind of like, this is a retro gamer, this is a modern gamer, you should look into retro games. And I completely agreed with it, and I liked it. It just, it didn't sh strike home with me. Uh, as good as a video as it was, so it didn't make my top 10. Obviously it made Charlie's. Uh, Dumpster Movies also did a video that Charlie liked a lot. Um, these are two young guys. They did a good video. I was, uh, I was very impressed with what they did, but I don't know. There was just something about it that, that it, it didn't rate that high for me. And um, when I was watching the videos, there were some other videos that just kind of pushed it down until it couldn't make it on my top 10. Um, Ziggy Bomb. He did a really good one, and he was very close to making it to the final round. Um, he did kind of a parody, and he did the sunglasses, and I mean, if you've watched my videos, you understand the sunglass reference, and I really enjoyed it, and I like it when, when people aren't afraid to poke a little bit of fun at me, you know, because, you know, I have a sense of humor, and it's all good, but he didn't make it on my top ten, and... Michael, Michael Vercad, I think it's pronounced. Sorry if I got it wrong. He did a, he did a very actually good video talking about um, digital distribution. And I liked what he had to say. But overall, it was really just a video about digital distribution. I thought it was cool that he was uh, shooting the video um, to help out a friend. If he had won, he was actually going to give the console to a friend. And I thought that was a very, uh, a very good sentiment, but it, it 
you know, maybe I'm a little callous. It didn't do much for me. But uh, a very well done video. He has very good presence too, but just didn't quite make it for me. So those were the ones Charlie picked that I didn't pick. And the ones that I picked that Charlie didn't pick were um, uh, one by Smash TV. That's Smash with four A's. He did a, a rap, and you know, I just thought it was funny. I thought it was creative, and I, I didn't think it was bad. So, um, having watched it and seeing seeing the effort that he put into it, he made my top ten. Uh, DD Link Ten did a really good video. He used Gary's mod and basically did kind of a skit. Um, what I liked best about this video was the music, and you really you just have to watch the video to see what I mean. The music was really well done. It, it was a uh, it was a laugh the way it switched over, and he did some funny things in that video. I I really liked it, but didn't make Charlie's top ten, so it didn't make it to the final round. Um, Jeb Buit, J E B B U I T. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but he did a really funny little piece with um, Halo 3's theater, I believe is how he did it, and he kind of does skit where he had you know to uh, Spartans talking, you know, as if they were me and him coming to the store. And at the end, which I thought was the funniest part, was, hey, don't get shot. And he goes out and he gets shot. And I don't know, it made me laugh. I, I just couldn't help it. So uh, he made it on my top 10. And uh, easily, hands down, the most technically impressive video that was submitted was done by Sounds of War, who he just did this amazing video. I'll post a link so you can see it. I mean, this guy, he put some real effort into the video. And I can't even imagine. I didn't ask Charlie why he didn't pick that one, but he didn't. And uh, it didn't make it to the, the, the final round, but it was really impressive. So I definitely want to give him a shout out for the time and effort he put into that video. And I really like that it wasn't afraid to kind of make fun of me, you know. Uh, definitely a laugh. You definitely have to check it out. So those are the videos that one of us picked that the other didn't. And that leads us into the top six videos. Um, I'll start with number six. Four, five, and six, sorry, there are no prizes, but you guys do get honorable mention here. Um, Monkey Productions um, did a video that was pretty good. It was a, a flash animation type thing and it it was cute, it was very funny, um, but it didn't quite get the high score the other ones got. Uh, the reason I didn't give it the highest score was it just, it seemed like it was kind of screaming out the lines and stuff and it just didn't quite, you know, come off as good as it could have, although it did make it to the top six. So it was really a well done video and it deserved to get as far as it did. Um, but that's probably why we didn't score it as high as we could have to make it a winning video. Um, Twin Kletz, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, T-W-I-N-K-L-E-T-E-S. Uh, he did a video trapped in a GameStop. And you know, honestly, it was very well done. It was funny, it was a, a parody, you know, of Trapped in the Closet. And uh, I mean, it, it was really well done. The only reason I think it didn't do as well as it could have is because the vocals weren't that great. It really could have, if you'd found like a really good singer to do it, it would have been, it would have been definitely top three, I think. It was hilarious, but um, definitely worth checking out though. If you want a good laugh, check out that video. Um, next was Bert9327. This video, I loved it. It was one of the first entries. It was an entry in the last contest that I had to cancel. And then he redid it and did it again for this contest. Ambrose the Sock Puppet. I mean, Charlie said it best. Who doesn't love a sock puppet? It was funny. And his, his little, it had the, the Austrian Arnold voice. It was just utterly hilarious. And he came within six points of being number three. I mean, he was that close. Very funny video. Um, and it just goes to show that, you know, having the most, you know, impressive technically or the best editing doesn't always win 
the contest because the video was very simplistic but very very good so Bert sorry you didn't get that number three and now we go into our top three contestants the winners um, the winner in third place and who gets the modded PlayStation 1 and you can refer back to the contest video if you didn't get to see those is Jay Pizzle Jay Pizzle did um, a commercial for the store and you could tell he put a lot a lot a lot of effort into it it's really well done it's funny he does this little half-life parody in it where he has like a little stuffed crowbar and a little just go watch it it's hilarious and uh, definitely des deserving of a third place and he uh, yeah he, he just you should really subscribe to this guy because I'm sure he's if he keeps up with quality like that he could do some really good videos um, next in second place the winner of the modded Game Boy Advance SP and the Willie J drawing <laughs> is Cyrus the Virus 4 and Cyrus did probably one of the coolest like video advertisement type things I've seen he did a 50s style retro commercial for level one games it was really impressive it was funny it was well done it was even well edited everything about it was good I really was impressed with the quality that he, he, he gave with that video um, he actually did two videos uh, I have a note here he did a rap video too but I only accepted one video from everyone and this is definitely his better effort it was uh, really well done and he definitely deserved his, uh, his second place prize and first place with a score of 195 he did very good was I'm gonna let it hang there for a minute peanut butter gamer who did a fantastic video it was really well done it was well thought out um, Charlie and I both agreed on this one it was just the uh, the amount of effort and the uh, the presence in front of the camera and everything everything he did for this video was just right it was just right for this contest and it was just right for us uh, to pick as a number one video um, so peanut butter gamer well done and uh, as Charlie said you've definitely raised the bar for the videos that I want to do on YouTube uh, I really need to start editing instead of doing all these one-shot videos but Charlie said the same thing I mean both of us agree completely on it and peanut butter gamer is the number one winning the new OJ Super Nintendo so that's it um, I need to contact these guys as soon as I get done uh, posting this video and let them know and I want to thank everyone who entered it was very cool uh, got thousands of views that's great uh, got a lot of people out there to see the page we've already topped 4,000 subscribers um, when I posted this video we'd only just hit 3,000 so it's obvious that a lot of you guys are putting the word out and I really really appreciate it I think it's really cool and with everything that's going on with the store and all the work that I'm putting into it and the moving and the packing and just getting everything ready it's it's great to know that so many people are so supportive of what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to accomplish so thank you all very much I truly appreciate it and uh, please keep putting the word out you know tell your friends about the videos and forward it to people online and post them in your favorite forums so we can uh, get level one games really noticed uh, that's it uh, Jay Pizzle Cyrus of the virus 4 and peanut butter gamer congratulations you guys you get did very well uh, Bert 9327 Twinklets and monkey productions um, you get honorable mention very good videos and uh, sounds of war again I'm giving you a, um, a shout out for technical achievement fantastic video um, and that's it for now Thanks again for watching and I will post more videos very soon.